Hi, my name is Beth Massey, and today I'm going to show you how to pass a parameter into a screen from the command bar in Visual Studio LightSwitch. LightSwitch is a new development tool for building business applications for the desktop and the cloud. LightSwitch makes it easy to create data-centric, rich Internet Silverlight applications. This lesson picks up where we left off in the last video. We have a simple order management system with products, customers, their orders, and details. Our application is building up pretty well. We can search and edit customers and products, as well as enter orders for them. Let's run the application real quick to see where we are. So here's our search screen. When we click on a customer, our customer detail screen appears. In the last video, we added this grid of orders that allows you to enter them one by one. When you click here, this opens up the details. This is also known as a master detail screen. So what we want to do next is create a screen where we can view and modify all of the open orders for a customer. So what, would, what I want to do is create a master detail screen that lists all the orders that we have that haven't shipped yet for a customer and allow the user to modify them all on the same screen instead of individually like we have here. So let's go see how we can do that. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a query for our order headers because we only want the user to be able to modify um, orders that have not been shipped. So we can go ahead and double click on our order headers here to open up the entity designer and click on the query button. Or we could also just have right clicked here on the order headers and add query. Now I walked through the query designer in a previous video, so I'm not going to get into too many details here, but let's just go ahead and create a filter that filters out um, only the orders that have no ship date. Okay, so let's call this open orders, and then we'll add a filter where the ship date is null. Okay, so that will bring back any orders that haven't been shipped. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. And now we're going to create a new screen based on this. And I want to create a list and detail screen this time. So we're going to list all the open orders on the left hand side for the user to select and then all the details that they can edit on the right. So we're just going to select our query open orders and I want to include the order details and click OK. Okay, so now we have a screen that's actually going to pull up all the open orders in the system, not specific to our customer. And that's what exact what we want is we want this screen to be customer specific. So first couple things I'm going to do, instead of um, having a autocomplete list for customer, um, we don't want the user to change the customer here. We're going to supply that for them. So I'm going to change that to a summary. And I'm also going to move it up. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to pass a parameter into this screen, okay, and it's, that's going to be the customer ID. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the open orders um, query here, and just for, because we're just going to uh, modify this screen by passing a customer ID into it, I'm going to edit the query further, but just specifically on the screen. Okay, so I'm going to add an additional filter, and the filter is going to be where the customer ID Okay, is going to be a parameter actually. So we're going to drop down this little um, drop down here and select parameter. Okay, and then we're going to create a new parameter. Okay, and I'm going to name this parameter customer ID. Okay, so let's save that. Now let's go back to our screen. So now you'll see that we have a query parameter customer ID. Now what we need to do is we now need to add a screen parameter and we need to supply the encode the um, value to the screen parameter. Now so what we do is we just go ahead and select add data item and now we can say local property and the type is actually going to be an integer and I'm going to name this customer ID. So this sets up our screen parameter. All we need to do is in the properties pane here is check is parameter. Okay so now the only time we can open the screen is when we pass the customer ID. The final thing we need to do is we need to hook up this screen parameter to the query parameter. So what you do is you select the query parameter and in this parameter binding here now we can select the screen parameter customer ID. And you know you've got it right when you see this line drawn between the query parameter and the screen parameter. So now we need to call this screen from our customer details. So let's go ahead and double click on our customer details screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a button to this 
screen command bar that opens the order. So let's add a new button. And we're going to call it Open Orders. Click OK. And I'm going to actually specify a image. I have a little picture I want to put on the button. So I'm going to import this little orders image. Look a little better. OK. And now what we need to do is we need now to uh, write some code so that when we click this button, we open up the other screen, the order header uh, list. OK. So the open orders list. That's, so let's go ahead and I have a, a small resolution here, but you normally will see this write code button at the top. OK. So let's just go ahead and uh, drop. you can drop that down and you can see all of the write methods here. Um, the other way you can get at the code behind is if you're on the button, you can just right click on the button and you can just say edit execute code. So that's an easy way to get to that code. Okay, so what we're going to want to do here is we're going to just want to say me dot application and we're going to say show the open orders list detail and you'll notice there's the customer ID as integer that it's requiring us to pass. Okay, so the way we pass it is we have the customer on our screen here and we just pass its ID. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and run this. Um, hit F5 or the play button up here at the top and see what we've got. OK, so here's our customers. Let's open a customer. And now you'll see there's our, our button up here at the top. We can click that. And this is our screen. OK, so um, Joe's Joe only has one order here that's not shipped. OK, so this looks like it's pretty good. but. I'm going to show you there's a little issue. And this is nice that we've got the, the customer filled in. I'm actually going to want to make that uh, a link. I like making this a link so it'll jump back over to the um, customer screen if we want. So just click on the summary property here that I specified and just show that as a link. Okay. The other thing I want to show you though is, so this is nice, it's already automatically filled out for us, but when we add a new order, you'll notice that this screen opens this customer is not filled in and this could be confusing to the user because really what we want to do is make this screen customer specific so this this information should really be filled out for us automatically so let's see how we can do that so when we add new orders what we want to do is to automatically set the customer on the new order header row so in the screen designer for the open orders list detail we'll need to add a new property that holds this customer value so go ahead and select Add Data Item, and this time we're going to select Query, Customer Single or Default. Click OK. Next, we need to bind this query parameter for the customer query here to our screen parameter. We select the query parameter, go to the parameter binding in the properties here, and select Customer, just like we did before. So now when we select this, we see the lines are drawn to both the customer ID and the open orders, as well as the customer query here. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to, anytime we add a new order header into the list, we need to set the customer on that. Okay, so what we're going to do is go into the code. I'm just going to click the right code button here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is um, select the open orders uh, changed. Okay, so that's the list box on the left hand side there, right? Really, okay, the data inside of it, that list. Okay, so what I'm going to do is say if e.action equals add, because I don't care about if we remove, replace, or refresh the list. We just care about when we add new items into it. Okay, so if the action is add, then I'm just going to say for each O as order header in e. Um, new items. These are the items being added to the list. And typically there'd just be one, but this covers us, right? So o dot customer, okay, oops, customer, is equal to me dot customer, okay? So this this uh, makes it so that this screen always works with the same customer, which will not confuse the user. This will be much better for the user. So let's go ahead and run it and see what we've got. Okay, so let's just go ahead and select Joe here. And we'll open all the orders. 
Okay, and so now when we click on the Add button here, you'll notice that there the customers filled out automatically. However, I don't really want them to be able to change the customer because that could also lead to some confusion. So let's just customize the screen a bit. What I want to do is I don't want to open up that secondary screen there that's generated for us. I just want to basically allow the user to add into this list and then they can modify all of the fields that they need to for the order header right here. Okay, so let's go into Design Screen. And what we need to do is on the command bar for the list box here, you'll see there's an add dot 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 and edit. Okay, so I really, I don't need edit because edit is right here on the side. So I'm just going to remove this, hit the delete key. And for add, what I want to do is also delete it, but I want to allow them to add items into the list. So instead of the add, add and edit new, which was what was there before, we're just going to have an add new. Okay, and I'm going to put that at first. Okay, so what that will do is we'll just add the row right in here and make it a selection and then the user can go ahead and edit the values there on the right hand side. So let's save that. And so now when we click add, you notice it just adds the new row but it's ready to go. Okay, and the customer is set automatically. Um, the order date is filled in with today's date and they're ready to go um, adding items. Okay, so let's go ahead and add, a, add one here. Okay and save. So that's how you create screen and query parameters and pass them from the screen command bar. So thanks for watching.